Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of Jane Speed Shop. So, um, I'm rebuilding these M113 K cylinder heads. So if you're new to the channel, have a look on janespeedshop.com, the link is over here. These heads are going to be on my S124 V8 Turbo. So, there's a 5 liter engine in it now with cylinder outschaltung cylinder heads, so ZAS, so that's a normal 5 liter cylinder heads with uh, option code 479. If you're not familiar with it, have a look on my website, you can find some info about it. But I'm going to change them to M113K cylinder heads. So, these are the heads, got all the, everything is cleaned, new seals in it. Uh, I got one valve out because I want to measure the spring pressure. So, and compare it because I can now do it. So if you can see here, I got two, these are original springs, and this is a double spring setup. So, uh, there's a little bit of difference in there. There's also a bottom uh, retainer or seat uh, that's already in here because uh, you have to put it in there before you put the seal in there. So that's why it's in there. But the thickness of it is one millimeter. So the original one from the uh, ML Fit 13 with the normal heads, they have a very small plate. That's this, it's a hardened plate, and that's a half a millimeter. So that's the half of the dimension. So these springs are in normal, normal height, almost the same level. But they are, um, when they are installed, it's 38.8 millimeters out of my head. So I found a lot of info on uh, CAT cams. They have info about the original uh, M113 960 um, cams and also the spring pressures. So the installed spring pressure and maximum, maximum lift. Uh, out of my head maximum lift is about 9.6 millimeters on the valve. On the spring, of a, on the rocker it's different. But um, with these M113 K um, cams, these ones, they have the intake and the exhaust lobe are completely the same. So they have 10.56 uh, millimeters lift on the spring. So the lobes on the AMG 113 K cams are the same on the intake and the exhaust. You got two intake. Uh, uh, lobes and one exhaust lobe. Another uh, intake, two intake, one exhaust, two intake, one exhaust. So um, the maximum lift on these lobes is 7.4 millimeters on the intake and the exhaust on the lobe. So that's with a 1.44 rocker ratio that gives you a 10.65 millimeters lift of the valve. So it will press the valve a maximum of 10.65 millimeters downwards. So on the original M113960 cams, that the cams they are in the SAS, uh, not sure if they are also in the SAS engine, but in the normal M113960 engines, it's 9.7 millimeters on the exhaust valve and 9.25 in the intake valve, if I'm correct. So it's a little bit more lift, but I think the duration is just the thing that's also doing it, but of course there is one millimeter more lift, that's almost 10%, so that's still a lot. So what I'm going to do is put these springs in. Uh, originally CAT cams gives a value at 38.8 millimeters, so that's the installed height. Um, they give a pressure of 41 kilos and maximum lift they measure them at 9.5 millimeters, so that's in between maximum lift of the intake and the exhaust. So 9.5 millimeters, they give 75 kilos. So I'm going to measure also the M113K and see what's the installed uh, pressure and what's the maximum lift pressure and compare it to the 9.5 millimeters of these and a maximum. So I'm going to do that and show you the results. So I made this very simple. Um, testing device. The thing what I have now on the top, so there's a bottom ring, the original spring, uh, the top retainer, and then there is just uh, a nut. I can turn it down and then it will measure the spring pressure on here. 
in kilos. So what I'm going to do is install it to the 38.8 millimeters. That's the installed height, and then uh, write down that uh, amount of kilos that I have, and then turn it down to the 9.5 uh, uh, lift maximum lift. What also is uh, CAD cams giving the value, and then compare it to the other uh, uh, value. So I will put it to the first uh, 38.8 millimeters. So I have now have it to the 38.8 millimeters. I'm measuring 39 kilos. That's the fitted load uh, what CAD cams giving. They give 31 kilos. This is around 39. I'm now going to turn it to the 29.3 millimeters. That's maximum 9.5 millimeters lift. They give, give then that it's uh, 75 kilos. So this is uh, maximum, so this is 72 kilos. So that's in the original spring. So the room that's in here is, there's almost no room anymore for this spring to more press it in. So it's not really possible to run high lift cams on these springs because you don't have the room. That's also why you should go on to double springs because these original springs don't have the room to do it. So then you get two springs with most of the time less uh, coils are a thinner coil. So I'm now going to install the double springs and then we're going to do the same measurement. So we had on 38.8 I had 39 kilos and on 29.3 uh, I had 71.7 kilos. So it's a little bit less than what CatCam's giving. But this is just a comparison. So this is the maximum or the around the maximum lift of the original cam. So they do 9.25 on the uh, intake and 9.65 on the exhaust. So got the double springs installed. I left the tin, the fin 0.5 uh, millimeters plate underneath. So I um, have to go a half millimeter further because of the thickness of this plate is a half a millimeter more. So I'm going to 38.3. Got it now on 38.3 with the double springs and is measuring 49 kilos. So that's about 10 kilos more sheeting pressure than we had with the original M113 uh, normal aspirated cams uh, springs. So uh, now going to turn it to 10 point uh, 65 millimeters lift, so that's 27.7 millimeters. Have a look. So <coughs> now seeing 76 kilos. Have a look how much I have to go much further. Now on a hundred kilos. Yeah. This is 27.7, so this is 10.65 millimeters lift. I'm on 100.6 kilos. So that's like 30 kilos more. So that's yeah, massively more. So and there is still room, so you can still lift these more than they are now. So the installed pressure is about 10 kilos more and the maximum lift pressure, but this is to 10.65, so this is maximum lift of this. 
uh, so the AMD cams have a maximum load lift 10.65 millimeters lift 100 and 100.6 kilos around 100 kilos installed weight is 49 kilos so to go to the um, measured value and compare them I have to go to 9.5 so so I have to go then to 28.8 millimeters to compare them uh, to each other. So it's 28.8. So I have to turn them a little bit back. So this is about it. So this is 94 kilos. So that's about 23 kilos over maximum lift with um, with um uh, springs from a normal aspirated version, non AMG. So uh, as far as I know, is also all the normal aspirated AMGs running these double springs, and they have I think on the intake even more lift. So they have like I thought. 11.25 millimeters lift or something so um, yeah then you go over 100 kilos so that's I think that's a lot and I think that's also needed for this exhaust valve so I'm pretty pleased to see these results so uh, yeah very nice that it works like this So the measured differences at uh, fitting load of the spring is about 10 kilos and maximum lift is about 23 kilos if you compare the same lift on both cams. So maximum pressure on the AMG cam, on this AMG cam, so the M113K is about 100 kilos. But yeah on um, AMG normal aspirated cam, what I see on CatCam's website, is that is about 0.6 millimeters more lift so I think you will go up to another 5 kilos in lift I didn't measure that but it gives you even more lift on the intake side of the normal aspirated cam so uh, what I'm now going to do is uh, install the last two valves on this uh, slimmer head and then what I need to do to have these heads ready for installment is I want to clean also the bridge so the camshaft bearing bridge, I want to dismantle it, I can now do it, get all the uh, hydraulic elements uh, separated and uh, clean them. Uh, just like last time I cleaned them in cleaning ammonia, uh, it's very good for solving uh, hydrocarbons, uh, debris, like uh, oil and that sort of stuff that burns stuck to somewhere. Uh, it just works very good. So I'm also going to do that with uh, those parts and just soak them a few hours and then clean them. And uh, I, have a, I have them now out of the car. So I have the heads then ready and everything is then cleaned. And the next thing what is then uh, needed to do is get the engine out of the car. And then, uh, yeah, I can uh, get the engine in the stand and I have to sort out a lot of stuff here because it's very full in my garage. And then I can dismantle the heads. Uh, first I take the intake off. If I have time I want to do compression testing on that engine uh, in a cold state. But I just want to know if every cylinder is uh, in the same era. Also with these heads because this is the last chance that I get to do that. And I also want to do a cold compression test on this engine just to compare it. And then we will see how good it is. So uh, yeah, that's the steps to go through. So um, is it a very good idea to run these valves? My conclusion is what I've yeah, got is that you need in this engine not a too high back pressure because you will just have floating valves. So uh, there was a very big discussion about, uh, and I think these discussions are very nice because you learn a lot from these things is that 
uh, a lot of people running small uh, primary tubes on their uh, on the exhaust system. So I'm going to run a bigger one because I think it will benefit the back pressure. So it, of course, it will have a later spool up time. But I think with this engine, with a single exhaust valve, that's really needed. I think I rather have a little bit later spool time than I have than I have a chance in the future that I have again valve float issues that are maybe not that notable as I have now. So the things that I learned from this is that you have to go to double springs. Uh, if you're really going uh, with a small turbo like I did, it's, it runs very good in low RPM. So if you want to run uh, not that high horsepower, but a lot of torque straight up the line, you will need to go for double springs. You can run, I think you can run easily the original cams, not the SAS cams, because a lot of people proven that uh, that's possible. But I think the, if you want to do it all the way, go for uh, I think these cams will going to prove themselves that they are really good for this. Uh, yeah, for this. Also, I think the the original normal aspirated AMG cams are also pretty good. But double springs is the way to go on the exhaust side and don't get a too high back pressure. So uh, this is it for now. So hope you like this video. And if you got any questions or suggestions, uh, leave some comments below or email me through the website. I will always try to answer. So have a look at my website, jamespeecher.com, link is over here. You can also look in the right corner of you, there's my logo and you see the other videos of this channel. Thanks for watching, bye bye.